Good afternoon, I'm Conway Mayor Bart Castleberry. We recently completed our morning briefing with the National Weather Service and the uh, Corps of Engineers. We are still predicted to crest tomorrow, Monday. Uh, luckily, our, our crest has actually been lowered by about one foot from 286 to 285, so there's a little bit of silver lining in there. However, we will remain vigilant uh, in dealing with the levy. We will continue to monitor it 24 seven until this has passed. Uh, we still have some areas that are weeping and, and saturating some places, but uh, as the Corps has told us, that's to be expected. We are changing our focus somewhat, a uh, little bit. The Corps, uh, the, I'm sorry, the uh, levy is still our primary concern in the city of Conway, but we are also going to focus on the predicted rainfall we have in Conway coming up in the next seven to 10 days. And we are now planning on how to deal with that. Uh, I want to just briefly remind you of where some of our sandbag locations are in the city. Uh, Station 5 on West Con Lane, Station 4 on Salem Road, Central Station at the corner of Caldwell and Locust, and for you folks out in East Conway and along Lake Conway at Lewis uh, Crossing, Lewis Ranch Crossing, to kind of better orientate, uh, orientate you on the location, it's, it's behind the Kia dealership out on, in the Lewis uh, Ranch area. I hope you have a very good day and thank you for your time. Hi, I'm Sheriff Tim Riles, and around the county, as you're aware of now, we have a lot of road closures, uh, county road closures, and we also have some state road closures. Those closures are being manned now by the uh, Army National Guard um, in the, for the state of Arkansas, and uh, they are only here to assist us in these closures. Uh, so if you see a, a, a several guard members throughout the county, maybe a Walmart or whatever, that's why you're seeing an abundance of them. So uh, they are here uh, only to assist us. And as usual, when you come up to a barricade somewhere, if you happen to come up one, on one, if you would, turn around and leave that area. Uh, don't try to go around it. And if we can get you to, if you see those, don't go up talking to guard members. We're going to ask that of the, of the uh, communities. And um, we're trying to keep those as clear as possible and so that if we do have some type of an emergency response, um, we will be able to have easy access and quick access in and out of those locations. So that cooperation we ask of you and we thank you for that ahead of time. Thank you very much. Good morning, I'm, I'm Sheila Balot, the director of the Faulkner County Office of Emergency Management. And I just wanted to let y'all know that um, we are still filling sandbags today and we have uh, added some new locations to our sandbag locations. We are working heavily with the Game and Fish to monitor the levels at Lake Conway and we are making preparations for that. So some new sandbag locations for people around Lake Conway, I'm gonna give to you here now. Uh, Saltillo Fire Station at Adams Lake Road and Clinton Road at the intersection of Palarm Creek and Alf Lane at the Highway 286 East Fire Department at Lawrence Landing Road and Lawrence Circle at the boat launch. Of course, we're still doing those at Mayflower City Hall. Um, at Paradise Landing, we will have a location. Um, today, we are going to add a couple of new locations. The Shell Pit at Mountain Air and Foothills at the old boat dock on Brannon's Landing. We will also add one to Green Lake Road near the shooting range. And of course, we are continuing to fill them uh, at Beaver Fork Road. They have got a great operation out there at Beaver Fork. So thank you to all of the people that are helping volunteer in the county at Beaver Fork Fire Station. I do want to remind you that if you haven't signed up for the Code Red Alerts, we are sending out updates daily through our Code Red Emergency Alert System. You can sign up for that at www oem911.net and then also as just a reminder in the event we were to see a, a breach at the lolly levy we will push those alerts out through the national weather service with a civil emergency alert so i would encourage you to make sure that you have your government alerts turned on in your phone and again we will continue to monitor the situation and provide updates as they become available again on our website www.oem911 we will have all of our road closures, all of our sandbag locations, and also on our Facebook page at Faulkner County OEM 911. Thank you.